Welcome to the ultimate coffee journey, where we're going to unveil some hidden secrets and delightful surprises brewing within your favorite morning pick-me-up. In honor of the National Coffee Day and the International Coffee Day, we unveil seven mind-boggling fun facts about coffee that even the most devoted coffee aficionados may not know. So grab your favorite mug, cozy up, and prepare to be amazed by the world of coffee. Do you know who is the coffee capital of the world? Did you know that coffee was not originally intended to drink, but to eat? Do you have any idea what was the favorite morning drink before coffee? Coffee lovers, get ready to be surprised. We'll uncover mind-boggling facts about the world's most popular drink that will leave you craving for more knowledge. And of course, another cup of that aromatic dark elixir. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries and stories behind your daily dose of caffeine. Despite being fondly referred to as coffee beans, the very essence that's roasted and ground to create that aromatic brew in your cup isn't a bean at all. In fact, coffee comes from the seed of a bright red fruit, aptly named the coffee cherry. So, next time you savor your cup of joe, remember that the key ingredient in this popular brew isn't a bean at all. Coffee was originally consumed by humans as a food, not as a beverage. Although today coffee is made by roasting and grinding the seeds to make a drink, early African tribes mixed the coffee cherry and seeds with animal fat before rolling it into a ball to make a kind of energy snack. You can think of it as an energy bite. Yes, long before coffee graced our mugs, it was already fueling the human spirit, one bite at a time. Will coffee break your fast? Yes, and in fact, coffee began to replace the common breakfast beverages, beer and wine, in 17th century Europe, those who drank coffee instead of alcohol started the day alert and energized. And not surprisingly, the quality of their work improved a lot. Fast forward to today, and the very idea of starting the day with alcohol would probably raise an eyebrow or two. Coffee's conquest of breakfast is complete, and the rest, as they say, is history. The world's first webcam was not monitoring security, not surveying a grand vista, but diligently focused on keeping an eye on a pot of coffee. In 1991, researchers at the University of Cambridge in England set up a camera to feed a live image from a coffee machine in the Trojan Room so employees could see if the pot was full. It would save them a trip and the inevitable disappointment if they could see in advance that it was empty. A few years after its internal debut, the pot gained international fame when its images were made available on the internet. People watched from all corners of the world until it was shut down for good in 2001. Coffee is more than just a morning elixir. It's the second most sought after commodity, mostly Arabica and Robusta beans, after the mighty giant, oil. Fortunately, coffee doesn't cause quite the same uproar as its counterpart, oil. Imagine a world where your morning brew not only powers your day, but also your trusty automobile. Believe it or not, such dreams have been pursued with some success. So don't be too surprised if one day you see cars running on the remains of yesterday's coffee grounds, Here's the paradox. Despite its name, decaf is not completely caffeine-free. Although it is believed that decaf coffee is completely free of caffeine, in reality, none of the methods currently used to extract this substance from the beans are able to eliminate it completely. According to reports, a cup of decaf coffee contains about 2 mg of caffeine, compared to 120 mg in regular coffee. So, as you sip your decaf coffee, remember that while it may be caffeine light, but it's not completely caffeine free. Once the caffeine is gently squeezed out of your coffee beans, it doesn't just disappear into limbo. No, it finds a new stage on which to shine. It gets a cameo in the big show that is the soda industry. Yes, that same caffeine, once infused into your morning brew, is now tickling your taste buds in colas and sodas. Finland has earned the honorable title of coffee capital of the world. Why? Well, because they don't just drink coffee, they practically swim in it. According to the International Coffee Organization, the average adult Finn goes through a staggering 27.5 pounds of coffee each year. To put that in perspective, the average American, known for their love of coffee, only consumes 11 pounds of coffee annually. Those folks in Finland have truly embraced the blessings of the coffee bean with all their hearts. Indeed, coffee is no ordinary beverage. It wields a power that is both personal and historic. In our daily lives, 
It's our faithful companion, rousing us from slumber and fueling our endeavors. Its influence extends far beyond the individual cup. Coffee, in its many forms, has left an indelible mark on our shared history and continues to shape our culture. More than a beverage, it's a catalyst for connection, a ritual of socialization, and a thread in the tapestry of tradition. Caffeine, the quiet hero of coffee, has woven itself into the fabric of human history, changing the course of events. One sip at a time. If you like this video, it would be a great help to us if you hit that subscribe button now and join our community. It's free. By subscribing, you'll help us create and share even more powerful stories that will brighten our day and broaden our perspectives. Your simple action can make a big difference to our mission. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Subscribe today. Also, we recommend you to watch another of our videos, in which we tackle another captivating story. Bright Talk style. One revelation at a time. The links are here on this screen and in the description below.